All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2015. I'm going to be running solo today, purely because I have been determined to master forestry. I know it's something that I said in the last video that really wasn't something that I was really concerned with. I was just going to let it go because there's other things that make a lot more money, but I just don't like things to get the best of me, and I have finally figured out what we were doing wrong in the forestry side of things. I still am not 100% sure how to use the chipper, but I'm not really too concerned with that aspect of it as I, as I was the actual logging industry of it. So basically what I figured out that I was doing wrong was there's a specific style of tree that you're supposed to be cutting down. I was not aware of this. This is obviously a brand new game, so it's all a learning experience. Also, as you guys can see, I have purchased the the high-end stuff. I've dumped another five hours into this game and purchased the tree cutting equipment and this one. And I can tell you, it makes a world of difference. I'm not even gonna like lie with you guys. Like it, this thing handles these tree trunks like a freaking champ. Really, really nice. Um, I've like been nonstop dedicating hours into this game because of its. I just love the Farming Simulator series to begin with, and I wanted to show you guys just how cool the logging actually kind of is. Like I said, the money factor of it really isn't like, you know, show-stopping or anything along those lines by any means, but it is, you know, there you go. It is pretty cool. I mean, it is what it is, right? One of the things I will let you guys know right off the bat is do not under any circumstance log out and leave logs in your vehicle they will disappear i had almost a half a load of logs and i ended up restarting my my game and i lost everything that was in it which is really unfortunate but you know i'm doing it more for the sole purpose just to kind of show you guys that logging is viable it's just it's very time consuming and it's really not worth the money I mean, you spend a lot of money on equipment, a lot of money on equipment, and a lot of time harvesting trees when, in all seriousness, you know, you could really be using, utilizing this time and money elsewhere, like harvesting crops. I mean, canola, I can make quadruple my money in the time it takes me to pick up one of these stupid logs, but I think it's kind of cool. I like it. Just not very money efficient, that's for sure. So, at any rate... I do. I still just wanted to show you guys the, uh, the logging side of things. I mean, I've pre-cut these logs, obviously, you know, prior to it. But I will show the process of a tree being cut, <clears throat> and I will show you how to do it. So we're just going to go ahead and drop this log in the bed of our truck now here, and it's getting ready to get dark as well. So we're going to go ahead and flip this log around like this. You got to be very careful <clears throat> with this stuff too because it will just go all crazy and flip out of your truck. I like to put it right towards the back bed of the truck just like this before I end up dropping it down just to ensure that it's in there. Another really cool feature that I like to do as well is if the tree is hanging out too much, which this is not a very extreme measure, but sometimes what I'll do is if the tree is coming out too far, sometimes you'll have like another 10 or 15 feet sticking out. I'll just jump out with the chainsaw, clip the last little bit of it off. That way it doesn't, you know, interfere with your driving. Obviously that was not an extreme measure, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So also really quick, before we grab any more logs, I'm gonna show you the tree cutter. As you guys can see, I've completely leveled this whole line of trees. There's a prime example tree right there. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come right on over here and we're gonna go ahead and cut this tree down. Really, really cool mechanism. I like this a lot. It makes trees, you know, cutting a little easier, but in all honesty, save yourself the money. The chainsaw does a really, really good job itself. All you've gotta do is just line this mechanism up, which I thought I might have actually have hit it first try. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn the harvester on, which will open it up like this. Then all you're gonna do is get it to attach to the tree just like that and then in the top left hand corner you're going to be able to see how much you can change your cut you can change it to uh one meter 
you can change it to 1.5 I mean you can really get down to the cuts on which you want it I really am not picky on it but once you get it all situated and where you want it you go ahead and hit X and bam just like that the tree is cut you just lift up your arm a little bit down it goes what I like to do is I like to actually lower the tree back down again and I will jump out of it and kind of hold it because as you can see trees are kind of glitchy in this game I'll pull out the chainsaw and I'll walk up and down the tree like this and see just like that I'll take all the branches off of it unfortunately in the other videos you guys watched was probably like nails on a chalkboard and I do apologize for that but um, we were just cutting down the wrong trees was all we were cutting down trees like this which in essence you can cut but the branches are an insane bear you need to cut down the, ex the the perfectly straight trees just like those right there and obviously you can tell my truck is not going to house this size of a log so what I usually will do is I'll kind of gauge roughly about the middle of it like right about here and then I'll just cut the tree in half once the tree is cut in half just like that then I'll come back on over here and then I'll go ahead and load it on in there so there you guys go that's pretty much I mean you can see I've really been <laughs> going to town then you can come back with your stump remover and then you can remove all these stumps and you know clean up your yard that way you're not leaving all these chunks of trees all over the place here like I said it's a really cool feature but in the time that it takes you to finally cut a tree you know and take care of all that other stuff you really could have been utilizing you know your time elsewhere and making more money for that matter like I said I can run a big tipper trailer of canola in a fraction of this time and make thirty forty thousand dollars versus doing this I mean if you guys are going for the cool factor you know you guys are wanting to have a little bit of fun and kill time or something like that maybe there's a whole bunch of you on like a multiplayer server you guys want to just kind of do your own thing this is definitely something very cool if you want to focus on the uh, the forestry side of things but just for my own personal you know if you guys are going you know my own personal game experience if you guys are really trying to go for money this really isn't you know one of those money making schemes that you're gonna make a lot of money off of that's for sure and as you guys can tell I'm definitely not very good at at controlling this thing either so I spent a lot of time tinkering with controls and trying to figure stuff out but once you finally get it you know you get your controls figured out ah uh, there you go see how like that one it's still got a couple of pieces still connected to it so I'll come over here and just knock them off with the chainsaw real quick jump back in the machine and then we'll continue picking this thing back up if we can hopefully we don't lose it We might end up losing it here. We'll see if we can't just slide it right into the back of the truck here. There we go. Not too bad, actually. we can just get this to rise up get this to drop down like that and perfect there we go look at that like a boss so now what I like to do this will be my first actual transportation but I'll kind of push it down like that just to kind of keep you know my logs from roll I don't know if the logs will roll out or not I have no idea but you know I'd rather be safe than sorry so at any rate now that you've got your logs all situated um, also really quick you guys have seen my chainsaw in action but you guys see how quickly it you know I mean for the money it takes to use that machine to cut your trees I mean you can easily buy a thousand dollar chainsaw okay <clears throat> make yourself a couple of cuts just like this yeah that at that piece of equipment you know is a lot quicker where it takes literally like a split second to cut it but in all honesty the three hundred thousand dollars you're gonna spend on that piece of equipment versus a thousand dollar chainsaw just really doesn't justify to me that piece of equipment 
You know what I mean? I mean, look at that. Bam. I've got a couple of logs waiting here to be cut in half and to be taken to the logging mill. I don't know. This equipment is cool. It's fun. But that's really all it is, in my opinion. Um, another cool feature with this seat, you can actually hit the B button and you can turn and drive it the other way. That way you can operate the crane much easier. It's got a little rotating seat inside. Like I said, guys, it's it's more just the cool factor than it really is versatile or, or really worth the money. But I just wanted to show you guys that I have finally figured out forestry. It's been about two or three episodes of me and my wife uh, that's been in the videos of just screwing around with it and failing with it. The wood chipper, I still don't quite understand. I've tried feeding sticks. I've tried feeding logs into it, and just nothing is happening with it. So I don't know. I mean, it's like I said, the whole wood chipping and the logging really isn't game breaking, uh, money making. Um, I mean, you guys can see I still have four hundred and thirty six thousand dollars left, not to mention whatever my wife has on her. And that's strictly just doing, you know, uh, the canola oils and doing wheat. Um, next episode, we're going to be breaking into the baling technology where I'm going to be purchasing all the wind rowers. Uh, the balers and and the trailers and whatnot to haul that around. That's going to be the next episode. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys the logging side of things and how really cool this stuff really can be if you really want to pour the time into it. Um, like I said, you know, is it is it is it really worth it? Eh, no. I mean, you guys can see like how you know slow things are running. How long it's taken me to drive this equipment over here. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, obviously, don't get me wrong, guys. If you get yourself an entire trailer of, like, I don't know, how many logs do you think you can fit in here? Probably 20, 25 logs. You know, you probably get yourself a good chunk of money, I guess. But in the time it takes you to cut them down and prune them, clip them, get them loaded into your tractor, drive it all the way over here to the lumber mill, you're going to ask yourself, man, how many fields could I have harvested during that time or you could be harvesting fields while you're doing it but if you're playing solo you know then that might be a little that might prove to be a little difficult for you but I at least wanted to go down to the lumber yard just to show you guys kinda what we're dealing with here as far as you know if it's something if this is something you guys are looking into getting into or maybe you guys might have ran into the same issues I did with uh, having issues with cutting trees like these trees right here to the right you see that one that's a tree you want to cut down it's straight those ones off to the left that have 9 million branches off of it, that's what our problem was. You don't want to cut down those trees. Those are the ones that are a real, royal pain in the butt, like no joke. But I've spent more time harvesting crops, and I've purchased two more fields. As you guys can see, I've purchased fields 15 and 17 now. I don't have the equipment to maintain those yet, but I at least purchased them. I mean, could you guys imagine... Look at how big 15 and 17 is. 15, 16, and 17. If I can get the equipment to harvest and, and, and do all that, I, I'm going to make a couple million dollars easy versus dealing with this logging camp stuff. I mean, like I said, it, it, it's cool. It's fun. But I just wanted to at least show you guys that I at least can figure out logging, and I'm not a complete idiot. So anyway, we're going to pull right into here. And I was kind of hoping a thing would pop up and say, you know, to turn in or something. But I'm not even seeing that pop up here. Somebody was saying I can take the logs right to the lumber mill. So I'm not seeing that ability to. Not unless I have to move my arm off of this or something. But nope. So that's not working there, huh? Yeah, I'm not not unless I have to physically take the logs out and drop them in the square. Let's try that and see if that works. That's gonna suck if I've gotta like physically drop the logs. Alright, let's take a look here and see. Alright. This is gonna be the point where it's really going to make you do all this and then I'm going to be like yeah screw the logging stuff like honestly if it's going to make you individually grab every single well camera angles 
that's going to make you really grab every single log and physically put them in this little section here. Alright, we'll see here in a second, as soon as I can figure out how to get this thing down. You're kidding me! Wow, there you guys go. So you physically have to take out every single log and place them. So, I'm sorry, but that's the deal breaker for me right there. Um, not really worth it, guys. I mean, the equipment alone, just to show you guys the forestry equipment, how much I've wasted, okay? I purchased... A, uh, a tree stump cutter, okay, 5,000. I purchased a semi-logging uh, trailer, 17,000. I haven't purchased this one. I also purchased this one to haul logs, another 54,000, okay. I purchased a wood chipper, $88,000. And I've purchased the buffalo and the scorpion king. That's 317 plus another 221. So that's three, four, five. That's 300, almost 40,000 or five hundred and forty thousand dollars guys that is a half of a million dollars not even including this other equipment so let's just go a little higher and let's just say six seven hundred thousand dollars in equipment all right and uh yeah so and all in my honesty guys you know it's it's a fun cool thing to do but if you're going to play farming simulator and try and get as much money as you can and to really try and and break some records Logging is fun, but it's just not where the money's at. That's for sure. Like I said, it's <laughs> Especially I, I thought you were able to just drive your trailer right over it and you can sell it But you physically have to pull every single log out and drop them in the little section here I mean if you guys are a pro and you guys can whip these logs out in a matter of seconds and then head back and grab another load That's really cool or Maybe there's a way to do kind of what they're doing here Maybe there's a way to get a bunch of logs in the back of your trailer and it will strap it down like this and maybe sell it Maybe it's making me do it because I have single logs I really don't know to be honest with you, but as of now just in my personal experience um, I probably won't be using the logging equipment. I can probably sell it if I really wanted to but I never sold my old equipment back in 2013. I liked keeping it just for the cool factor of having it parked on my land and just, you know, kind of have something to show for all the hard work. So, but at any rate, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. There is the forestry equipment for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it useful. That way you guys can check it out to see if maybe it's something you guys want to do in your equipment videos and your farming videos. But for me, I'm going to stick to uh, the farming aspects of it and uh, try and make as much money as I possibly can. So hopefully you guys can witness how much money that I used and I, and I wasted in countless hours, and you guys can make that determination on whether you guys, you guys wanna go through it like I did. So thank you guys so much for watching another Farming Simulator 2015. We'll see you guys next time where we're gonna break into the baling technology again. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys then.